God bless you, dear friends. This is Pastor Anthony Wynn. So honored that you'd allow me to share with you this glorious gospel that Jesus still saves, heals, and delivers. Have a special word, an on-time word, an encouraging word for you today that whatever your need is, whatever your situation is, when Jesus cried, it is finished. He literally left a will. And your name is in that will. There's healing for you. There's blessings for you. There's protection for you. There's provisions for you. There's there's strength for your marriage. There's help for your children. Whatever the storm in your mind, your your turnaround, your change, he left your provisions in the will. I, I remember the TV ministry was young and the bills were great and we were we were just just paying from bill to bill and my personal load was heavy and uh made friends with with Catherine in Pennsylvania, a little grandmother, and she became like a mother to me, and she literally called me her son. But when she passed, the lawyer called and said, Brother Wynn, Catherine has left you 8,000 in her will. And we we had personal needs, but the TV ministry had needs. And quick as the check come, my little Sheila, who loves Jesus so much, and is my hero, my precious wife, mother of my children, uh, the mother of this church, little Sheila said, you know, she said, we can't keep any of this. Uh, we was praying that God bless the, the, the needs of the TV ministry. And so we give it all. I told Sheila, I said, I'm going to carry it for two days, $8,000 check. And so I carry it. Then we give it all back to the ministry. It was in the will. And then just a little while later, another precious saint left us in the will. And again, another time. And then right now, one of our close friends has, has passed, went to heaven. Her daughter called and said, she's left Oasis Ministry. She said, Brother Wynn, the ministry's helped her and she left Oasis Ministry in the will. That means there is an inheritance. That means there's something that's going to meet a need. Our name was left in the will. Oasis Ministry, Anthony Wynn Ministry was left in the will. I want to talk to you just a few minutes. In a life with so much pain and so much struggles, you're going to be okay. Jesus left your name in his will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A will has to be read. It has to be believed. It has to be accepted and then it has to be enforced it's not enough to carry a bible it's not enough just to have the paper it's not enough just to have the paper of the will without you have the property without you have the possession in the book of psalms ninety four fourteen, for the lord will not cast off his people neither will he forsake his inheritance i have prayer warriors standing by right now who want to pray with you i am believing in this this broadcast right here that something's going to stand up inside and you're going to realize I want my healing. I want my blessing. I I don't want them to take my house. I don't want them to repossess my car. I don't want to lose this job without God has something better for me. It's in the will. Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. He hates me. He's against me. But devil, you are a liar. My name is written down in the will of God. I have an inheritance. Yes, I have heaven to go to. Yes, I'm going to a land where there's no crying and no dying and no sickness and no sadness. But in this life, He died that I might have life and that you and I might have it more abundantly. Let's dig into this. Psalms 94, 14. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. You are his inheritance. He has an inheritance for you and he will not forsake you. In the book of Ezekiel 22, 16. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. The Lord wants this generation to see that he takes care his children. I, I I don't want people to say, well, Anthony's a good a good preacher, a good pastor, but he's not a good father. I want everybody to know I'm taking care of my children and grandchildren and all my adopted children. It's in the ministry. All these precious men and women that allow Sheila and I to be their parents. I want the Lord, I want the world to know I pray for them. I love them. I care for them. I want to help them. In the book of Acts 26, 18, don't you know that the Lord wants this generation to know that he's a good, good father and he takes care of his children and he'll make a way where there seemeth to be no way and when the enemy comes in like a flood, he's going to raise up a standard in the book of Acts 26, 18 to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. In the book of Ephesians 1, 11, 
in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Your inheritance is in Christ. Your inheritance is in Jesus. Being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his will. You're left in his will. It's his will to heal you. It's his will to bless you. In the book of Colossians 1 and 12, giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. It's the will of God to bless you. It's the will of God to help you. It's the will of God to move for you. It's the will of God to raise up a standard for you. If this ministry has touched your life, if this ministry has helped you, would you call now and let us pray for you or call now and give your testimony. And I believe God's dealing with some of you to just literally leave Oasis Ministry, Anthony Wynn Ministries in your will. That even after I'm gone or you're gone, that Micah and John Mark and others can keep the ministry going, keep the church doors open, keep the ministry going keep the TV stations, keep this gospel uh, sounding out that Jesus still saves, heals, and delivers. Pray about, pray about. L leave leave, leave a, something in your will that will affect the kingdom of God. Leave a portion, just, just a portion of your inheritance to, to, to the ministry that will touch hearts and change lives. And I've got prayer warriors standing by right now. I've been up since daylight praying over this sermon and praying that the anointing would fall. It would come in your home or your office or your vehicle. Would you call now and let us pray with you? If the line's busy, leave your number. Someone will call you back. We just don't have secular operators that's calling you that don't know the Lord. We have saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled people, prayer warriors, people who fast and pray and know the power of God. We're getting testimonies every day that lives are being changed, that doctor's reports changes, marriages are being restored, finances are turning around because of prayer warriors here. You see my face and you see my little Sheila and Mike and Jesse, you see our face, but this ministry is strong because of the foundation that God's put around me. This ministry is strong because of all the team that works here at Oasis. This ministry is strong because of all these ploys here and all the platform, my worship team and my Sunday school teachers and all the prayer saints, all the prayer warriors that come and answer the prayer line. Hallelujah. And they want to pray for you right now. Would you call? There's an anointing to heal you. There's an anointing to restore your home, your marriage. There's an anointing to turn your finances around that give you peace that passeth all understanding. And we want to be a blessing to you. We want to help you. I got up with the desire this morning. I want to make a difference in somebody's life. But I want this broadcast to tell somebody I can't quit. I can't give up. I can't give up on my healing. I can't give up on my miracle. I can't give up on my drug addict child. I can't give up on my, on my marriage that's in crisis. Jesus left my name in his will. Hallelujah. Call now and let us pray with you in the book of Romans 8, 17. And if we're children, if, if you're children of God, if you are a child of God, if you are saved, born again, a child of God, you ought to lift your hands up wherever you are right now and say, Brother Wynn, I got saved. I become a child of God. Paul said in Romans 8, 17. And if we're children, then heirs, we're heirs of God, join heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we also may be glorified together. An heir is one who succeeds to inheritance, who receives inheritance, who is given an inheritance or an estate. In the book of Hebrews 9, 15, for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. That by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, that which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Stay with me. We're going somewhere. I feel the anointing. He's, he's the mediator of the New Testament. Hebrews 9, 16. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the tester. Or in this case of a will, it is necessary to prove that the person who made the will he has died. He is deceased. He no longer lives. Hebrews 9, 17. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise it of no strength at all while the tester liveth. The will went into effect in John 19 and 30. When Jesus started forth and received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. 
finished and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Your Bible, every promise in there belongs to you. Every, everything in there that the Lord said you could have belongs to you. What he's did for anyone, he'll do for you. Jack Cole, you saying, it is no secret what God can do, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The wheel went into effect. Jesus cried, it is finished. Hallelujah. You ought, you ought to lift your hands and claim your healing and claim your miracle. Claim the salvation of your household. Claim your peace back and your joy back. You ought to tell the devil, you've got to give me double for the trouble. You've got to, you've got to let go of my blessings, of my peace. You've got to get your hands off of my home and my children. Hallelujah. Galatians 4 and 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he's a child, differ nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. If we remain a child in the kingdom, if you always got to have somebody else do your praying, somebody carry me, somebody help me, somebody please get a word for me, somebody please fast for me, somebody please explain God. Say, if, you all, if you're going to be a child the rest of your life, you're going to hinder your inheritance. But if you'll get up today and you'll tell the devil he's a liar, I'm going to learn to pray for myself. I'm, I'm going to learn to worship the Lord. I'm going to start back reading my Bible. I'm going to return to the house of God. Pastor, I'm going back to church. I'm going back to my ministry. I'm going to pick my mantle back up. I'm going to pick up my anointing. Hallelujah. Call us right now. There is an anointing. I, I, want, to, I want to send you a free prayer cloth. And in the, in the Bible it said, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul that from his body were brought onto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Brother Oral Roberts used to say it, it could be just a cloth, but it's more than a cloth because it's an anointed, it's a point of touch, it's an anointed piece of garment, it's an anointed piece of material that God's got into. And these have been prayed and fasted over and we want to mail you one free. Hallelujah. If you've got a need, call or write us now and give us your address. And we're waiting right now to pray for you. Whatever your need is, you can get your healing today. You can get your touch today. You can get your miracle today. You can get your turnaround today. Call right now, let us pray for you. I believe in prayer. I have so many TV partners and so many friends. They don't, they don't have a local pastor that they're connected with. And until you find that local pastor, let Oasis Ministry, let Anthony Wynn Ministry be your pastor. We will pray for you. We will weep for you. We will fight for you. We will stand in the gap for you. Call now. Tell them, say, Brother Wynn, we just need you. And after the prayer warrior prays for you, tell them, write a note, take your name to Pastor Anthony and Sister Sheila, that they too will pray for you. We'll take it to our Tuesday night prayer team. We'll put it on our prayer board. We'll send your name out. We have over 150 prayer warriors who we can contact in two or three minutes who will instantly go into prayer. Hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth out of them all. If I'm building on anything, I'm building on prayer right now. We need to pray because there's a king listening. God's in a prayer answered mood and he cares about you. Most wills when they read the inheritance will be given around 1821, some of them age 28. But up to this age, every need will be provided for. Jesus, he has a two-part will. The, the second part is, I go to prepare you a place that where I am, there you shall be also. He went to prepare, it's a city where no twilight shadows deepen. It's an ending day where night will never be. It's a country where no storm clouds ever gather. This is what heaven means to me. Heaven means to me there's no undertakers in funeral homes. There's no cemeteries. There's no hospitals. There's no emergency rooms. There's no, there's no drug overdose. There's no two-year-olds crying, I want my daddy back. Where's my mommy? I want my mommy back. Hallelujah. Heaven's a place, hallelujah, where there's no need for the sun or the moon, for he's the light of that city. Heaven's a place where there's no sad goodbyes. Heaven's a place where there's no hospitals hospital beds. That's the second part of that inheritance. Friend, I'm going home. You don't have to go to heaven with me, but you can't stay here. This world's going to end. One day, time will be no more. But the first part of that inheritance, Anthony, I'm going to heal you when you're sick. When your baby's hungry, I'll put food on your table. When the enemy comes in like a flood, I'll raise up a standard. When you don't know which way to turn, I'll lead you. I'll guide you. I'll be your provider, your protector 
would you call right now? I want to be part of your restoration. I want to be part of your miracle. I want to be part of your healing. On down the road, when you're telling your story, the cancer falling off or your heart going back in rhythm or one of these horrible diseases being erased that you'd bring up by the grace of God in, the, in that place called Calvary. God used a little old country preacher, Brother Anthony Wynn, to stir my faith and I got my miracle and I got my healing. I want to tell you, this Jesus I love, he still saves, he still heals, and he still delivers, and there's still a fountain filled with blood. He's not against you, friend. The Lord is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? If God's for you, how can you lose? How can you go under? How can you not get back up? Call now. Let us pray with you. I believe God's dealing with some of you to partner with this ministry. We're in the process of building a new studio. We just sent a large check to the orphanage in Haiti. We, we, we got so many outreaches, so many things going on. And, and we, we, it's our desire and our burden to reach this generation. I cannot do this. Sheila and I, my precious wife, cannot do this without you, our partners. God's speaking to some of you right now to, to donate, to stand with us, to hold our hands up monthly. Some of you could give a huge one-time donation. Some of you could give monthly. Will you hold my hands up? You, you can come visit us here in Athens, Tennessee. We're good stewards of the ministry. We're good stewards of the finances. We try. We know one day you and I are going to stand before God. And, and it, we try our best to be pleasing to the Lord and to be careful of every, every little widow that sends a dollar a uh, $5, whatever, whatever you're able to give, every business person that stands with us, we try our best that when we stand before God, our hearts and our lives will be clean. So would you pray with us about partnering with us? In Galatians 4, 7, Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Now we're just now getting to our sermon. Your healing is in the will. You, the peace, the peace of God is in the wheel. God wants to give you peace. It's in the wheel. Peace I leave with you. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Who is the witness of this will? John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Whatever's in the will, the Holy Ghost is going to bring it out to you. Hallelujah. So I worked all last week and I made up just a, a small will. And there's hundreds of pages we can make this into. And if you're interested in a copy of this, if you would call the number right now and say, mail me, mail me that page that Brother Wynn was using about the will of God. It's a will and testimony to you from Jesus. Hallelujah. Who, who wrote the will? Who is the will about? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. The creator. Hallelujah. It's in Psalms 121, 21. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. My help didn't come from a business that's about to go bankrupt or a business that's failed or an individual that don't have it all together. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord. Which Lord? The Lord that made heaven and earth. Somebody says he's king. He's more than that. He's king of kings. Somebody says he's Lord. He's much more than that. He's Lord of lords. Every other Lord in the world is under him. He's Lord of lords. Every king in the world. Hallelujah. Every king in the world is under him. He is king of kings. Hallelujah. Third John 1 and 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul doth prosper. This is what the Lord's been dealing with me about. Hallelujah. You're never going to get all of your miracles as long as you realize, well, he wants to move for Brother Anthony and he wants to move for the team there. I had a grandma who lived good. He'll move for her. And my daddy was, he was such a saint. God will move for him, but he'll probably never move for me. If you have that attitude, you're blocking and hindering your inheritance and your miracle. But if you realize right now, he came to seek and to save that which was lost. He loved me while I was yet a sinner, while I was a mess. So if you'll take this scripture right here and put your name in it. And I, I fill this form out here. So it says, uh, bless the Lord, O my soul. 
and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities. And then the second time I wrote it, I left out right there. What is your name? Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? My name is Paul Anthony. Who forgiveth all of Anthony's iniquities? I need to read my name in there every once in a while and realize it's not just a worldwide gospel. It is a personal gospel. It is a personal will. Hallelujah. It is the will of God to forgive all your iniquities, all your mistakes, all your problems. It's the will of God for you to realize I am forgiven. It's not the will of God for you to live under condemnation. It's not the will of God for you to beat yourself down. Yes, you made a mistake. Somebody needs to tell the devil it's under the blood. God has forgotten it. It has cast away. I remember one time and I was praying about something and the Lord asked me, he said, what, what are you repenting about? What are you praying about? And I, and I, and I started telling him, he said, I don't even remember that. I said, and then, it's like we were communicating. I said, but Lord, he said, he said I, I forgot it. I've cast it away into the sea of forgetfulness. You're worried about stuff that God don't remember. He who's the creator, who, who has the perfect memory, he has choose when you repent to forget your mistake. He has choose to erase from his mind your, your mistakes. I know some people is going to always condemn you and beat you up, beat you down. To some, she'll always be the woman who the spirits were cast out of. Hallelujah. But to Jesus, hallelujah, it's a little lamb. It's a little sheep. Hallelujah. Who forgiveth all Anthony's iniquities. Put your name in right here. Who healeth all of Anthony's diseases. All your diseases he wants to heal. Put your name in there. You need this paper. Call now. Say, mail me that paper. I want, uh, uh, Corey was in the hospital. We visited him Saturday, Sunday morning. He had a horrible, horrible report. And, he, and he, the, the tube was going to be down him for four more days. He was not going to go home for over a week. And, 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 he, and it was just real serious which way this thing was going to turn. I just did his wedding just, just, to, just two years ago. And now he's got a beautiful baby and his life's wonderful and precious wife. And Sheila took it and she wrote Corey's name on every one of these. And we prayed over it. Hallelujah. And in a day's time, it turned around. They took the tube out all the way from down out of his stomach through his nose. To, to last night, he went home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's power when you start praying the word of God. Don't pray in fear. Don't pray in doubt. Say, beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul doth prosper. Or in other words, beloved, I wish above all things that Anthony may prosper. It's the will of God to bless you. And I know this has been taken and carried out of context, but friend, it's the will of God. Hallelujah. Call now, let us pray with you. I want my prayer team to agree with you in prayer. And I'm going to tell them, the ones that's answering the phone here, fight in prayer. Hallelujah. Get a fight back at each brother and sister, young person or grandparent that calls in. You got to stand up to the devil and say, devil, you can't take my inheritance. You, it's the will of God for me to have peace. It's not the will of God for me to live on a nerve medication. It's not the will of God for me just to barely get by. It's not the will of God for me to live in fear. It's the will of God to heal me. My name is in the will. Your miracle's in the will. It's the will of God to heal you. Call right now. Let us agree with you and believe with you. Hallelujah. Hey, it's the will of God to save you. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what needle you pulled out of your arm, what bottle out of your pocket, or what bed you crawled out of. It don't matter. It's the will of God to give you a new beginning. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. Well, Brother Wynn, when I get better and do better and quit some stuff, I'm going to pray. No, he loved you while you were with us, yet a sinner. It's the will of God to turn your life around. Put your name in here. You need to call right now and let us give you this paper. Let us pray with you. We want to pray with you right now. This is free. I want to mail this to you. But put your name in here. Psalms 30 and 2. Oh, oh Lord, my God, Anthony cried unto thee and thou hast healed Anthony. I was nine years old and dying. The doctor told my daddy I wouldn't live the week out. And that little that little grandma come off a 40-day fast, laid her hands on me and prayed. My daddy had started a seven-day fast. God healed this little nine-year-old boy. And the next day I'm up eating playing. Hallelujah. God totally turned my life around, turned my health around. I've seen, I've seen my, my mom go to the back room and I knew she went there to die in 67. And now I watched the power of prayer. We cried. A little seven-year-old boy cried unto God. And I know my daddy in the church is praying, but this little seven-year-old boy cried unto God. God, I don't want you to take my mama. And I remember that day my mom, I came home from school and my mama wasn't in that back bedroom after about two months. She said, 
sitting on that little old orange plastic couch and about 67, the quilt around her. She said, she said, son, I feel a little better. Had about a week. My life, my mom was back, back to normal. God added about, about 50 more years. God has been kind to us and he still saves and he still heals and he still delivers. Hallelujah. If you have lost a loved one, I have a book on grief. It's wrote by 19 people who's, who lost someone they loved and they got back up. I want to give this to you as a free gift. And while you're asking for the book, call right now and tell them, send me that free book. While you're asking for the book, would you let us pray with you? We have a prayer team of prayer warriors. Hallelujah. And there's miracles in this broadcast. There's new beginnings and fresh start. It's the will of God to heal you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. But he was wounded. Put your name in there. For Anthony's transgressions. He was bruised for Anthony's iniquity. The chastisement of Anthony's peace was upon him and by his stripes Anthony's healed. I wish you'd stand up right now and claim your healing. I wish, I wish you'd break through fear and discouragement and doubt and suffering. And I wish you'd tell your sickness you can't stay here. You've got a name. You've got to bow to the name of Jesus. I have an inheritance. Surely the presence of God is fell in this studio. And the one who left you and I the inheritance, he has a name that's above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee has to bow. If things in heaven and things, and if it has a name, it's got to bow. You ought to call out the name of that sickness or that problem right now. Tell him he went to Calvary. He stopped at the whipping post. Then when he cried, it is finished. The will went into effect. I have inherited healing. I have inherited eternal salvation. I have inherited peace that passeth all understanding. I have inherited the Prince of Peace. I have inherited the love of God. I have inherited the mercy of God. I have inherited the blessings of God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to you, Jesus. In, in, in Philippians 4, 19, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Could we read it this way? Put your name in the will. But my God shall supply all. Put your name right there. What is your name? Say your name out loud. But my God shall supply all your need. What is your need? Do you need healing? Do you need finances? Do you need your marriage turned around? What is it you need God to supply? I, I, I'm not talking about just a man. He's more than a man. Hallelujah. He's King of kings and He's Lord of lords. But my God shall supply all. Put your name right there. But my God shall supply whatever your name is, whatever they, whatever your birth certificate says, whatever label you carry, put your name there. But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sent His word and healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. He sent his word. Put your name there. Psalms 107 20. He sent his word. And healed your name. He healed you. He sent his word. That's what's happening in this broadcast. His word's going out. This word I'm preaching will not return to him void. Hallelujah. This is Brother Anthony Wynn. I've so enjoyed sharing this sermon with you. This message. Reading the will of God. I have read the will and your name was in the will. You have an inheritance in Christ. Please pray for us. Call right now. Somebody's waiting to pray with you. We love you. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at Anthony Wynn Ministries. This is our 20th year of touching hearts and changing lives through TV ministry. And this is made possible by our partners. Because of your kindness, we have reached over 150 million homes worldwide. And we're currently in the process of constructing a new office space and studio building. It is our goal to double in size this year and add new stations to our outreach. Currently, we send out thousands of free resources monthly and your donations and partnerships make this possible. Partner with us today and become part of our ministry as we reach an orphanage in Haiti, a recovery center and all our local missions. When you partner with us, you can receive a free DVD or CD, a monthly newsletter, and an Oasis magazine. Just call 1-877-226-4088 or visit our website at anthonywin.org. Thank you. God bless you.